I got two drag systems on it. Uh, we're at the Hudson River, east side, like nearly Tappan Z. One camera running the whole time. Well, luckily we're not catching any fish. Yeah, that is tall. It's yeah. tiny and the screen. The screen makes a world of difference. Dude, Sammy, tell me about this bike. It was clean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind no, of bike? Uh, it's a 2000 Dyna Wide Glide. Okay. That's with the 88? 88. Sick. Okay. And he Real said, loud? Stupid loud. Fuck yeah. How like, many miles? It's 31 something, 31,000. Yeah. Oh, I got a fart, I got a fart, I got a fart. Turn on, turn it's, on. It's on. Turn on. Ow. That's a light leader. I can't right. believe Jonathan leaves the camera right now. Yeah. It's sketchy. Yeah. Shit's definitely gonna fall in the water. Like. And, uh, <laughs> we won't know until the like, what? Alright, Sam's gonna cast this thing. Fuck yeah, bud. Yeah, hang Damn. time? Yeah. Where's that going? 150 feet, maybe? Probably like a hundred yards, man. Yeah, hundred yards? Yeah, that far? Yeah. yeah. By my what house? What is that? What? A bulge? Is that a bulge? Yeah, it's my moose hunt. Jesus Christ. Right. Yo, JT. Nice bump. Like, up and, and run the piss out of it. Completely open down. What the fuck? What? No. Should let it keep eating. I just saw something big go airborne, bro. Really? The budworms. The boy likes to fish. <laughs> like tackle box, tackle box, tackle box. This is what's called a live liner. I got two drag systems on it. All right, here's a drag, and here's your normal drag. I call this a primary drag, secondary drag. So, when this is, when this right here, when that's flipped down, a fish can grab your bait and run and have little to no resistance. And it takes your bait and it runs. And then you can either flip that and it automatically goes to your primary drag and then you set the hook, or while it's running, you can reel, and it sets it for you, and then you set the hook. Yeah, Penn calls it live liner, but it's typically called a bait runner. So this is the whole well, live liner setup. So what happens is, you cast it out, your weight gets stuck in the mud, okay? Fish takes your bait and pulls. And see what it does there? Your weight will stay. And meanwhile, this is now running. And that's when you flip, okay. flip it to set the hook. I just kind of mash it on there a few times. Oh. Then you got you to gotta put that song in. Time keeps on going, going, Time going. keeps on going, going oh. into the no. future. Dude. <laughs> Bouncing, but it's by a cat. Oh, 
hopefully it's a big one. Next time it does it, I'm setting it. Nope. Exactly. So what are you guys going for? Striped bass. Striped bass. Uh, I'm going also for sturgeon. Stripers. Yo, in Maryland, <laughs> they call them rockfish. Rockfish? Like if you call them anything other than a rockfish, they know that you're not local. Huh. Like, wow, that's interesting. So, and this is the striper run right Let's now, go, right? One. Probably a tiny little cat. Or a stick. Yo, Robbie, you got any of that leader material? Yeah. Nope. What you got? Nothing. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, oh. It's tiny. Tiny. What is it? Cat. Little cat. Aww. This is the third one tonight. Oh, he's a baby. Ugh. What are you doing? Uh, gonna recast this one. So this is not a surf rod, this is a boat rod. It's only six feet long, so I can only cast it so far. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. This rod is extremely stiff. Wait. So the reason why we like this spot so much is because look at where our vehicles are in relationship to where the water is. You don't need to hump through the woods carrying all your gear. You reverse your truck. You walk eight feet and you're fishing. That's what's so great about this spot. Second thing, there's a clam bed, typically out where you cast. There's a huge bed of clams. The fish love those clams. So that's giving them a reason to already be here because they're eating the clams. Um, so then if you get your line over there, whether you're using chunk bait or bloodworm, that's just another piece of food for them to eat in an area that they're already coming to eat. Uh, we've been coming here a few years now, what, maybe like four years, yeah, Sammy? three or four, yeah. So there's a striper migration map. It's called On the Water. Last time it was updated was May 3rd, so it's May 9th. So it'll probably be updated very soon. You see it? So this is a chart, tells you what size fish uh, are in where on the water. We are on the Hudson, this is the Hudson, see how it's all red? That coordinates with this chart which is 30 pounders. So currently the 30 pounders are in the Hudson. Swimming up right now. Right now, they are here. We set up the little rod over here to catch uh, eels. Or uh, perch, cats, anything. anything. But so, it's, Sam, it's, you're getting ready. But it usually gets more hits than everything else. Yeah, <laughs> we're always catching fish on that and nothing else. Sam, you're setting up the little rod? I'll set it up. Now an eel, God, hopefully we can get an eel on camera. Eels are disgusting. Yeah. They slither up your line and they're, That's gross. Yeah, this dude was like, oh yeah, I got a special eel glove. And he, he never used it before. <laughs> the fucking thing was so slimy once he was yeah. done with it. It was disgusting. It climbed up his arm like to yeah. his skin. It went underneath of his sleeve and up through his into his arm. It was so gross. Yeah, I got a special eel recipe. Yeah. Hey, knock that off. It's Rodrigo and Jose. Before I hold your head underwater. Yeah. Till your legs stop kicking. <laughs> Yeah, St. Croix is a good rod. Yeah, St. Croix is. Too bad he always bird's nests with that thing. No, nah, dude, I got good. What's bird's nesting? With the, when when you don't know it. what you're doing, and basically the line comes out faster than the reel can spin, and it's just <laughs> And you basically are cutting everything <laughs> and redoing doing it. The bait casters have a learning curve. Okay. I learned it. The hard way. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till one of these rods goes screaming and you set the hook and all of a sudden it just goes to a dead stop and all of a sudden your primary drag it's fucking awesome but 
They put up a good fight, huh? Oh god, yeah. As good as blues? Uh, blues are probably better. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I think they have. I think blues have got way more of a fight in them. They, yeah, they do kind of. I like. think. I think pound for pound, they're stronger. And a striper. Well, the well, bass is the best, you know? They fight yeah. real hard and then they die out. Yeah. Those right. blues just like stay strong. Wait, yeah. see, I gotta fart, I gotta fart, I gotta fart. Cool. Dude, that rod's going. Which one? This one. Get it, get it. Yo, you're pounding, you're fucking bouncing. I got the, uh... Whoa. On? It feels like something. Something small. I don't think it's anything. I'm breaching. Nothing. Stripped. There it is. Oh, John, 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 we got an eel. Go. This is what's called a disgusting eel. Yeah. See all the slime already on yeah. the fucking line? The little ones aren't that bad. The big ones can straight up climb your line. Yeah, it's gross. But when you caught it Buchanan that time? Yes, line, huge. That thing was disgusting. Alright, so how'd you catch that? Just on a tiny hook and a tiny piece of worm. It was on the small? Small rod. Small rod, okay. I didn't even know it was on there. I just fucking reeled in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna live line it. I'm gonna put it on the hook and cool. cast it out. Alright. If I can get it out. So, you're gonna touch it with your bare hands? Ew, you're not giving me my truck after I'm that. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grab my pliers. Clearly and I have the biggest bowl yeah, out of anyone here. Let me get my pliers. Oh, you're yeah. sleeping outside tonight, you got chickens. It. <laughs> 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 oh, he touched me. <laughs> oh, I'm on. Oh, I'm not on. Did I just break the leader? Did you? It sounded like your rod just snapped. Sam had bites, he set the hook real hard. May have just snapped his rod. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was the real. I like. I backlashed it. Oh. Uh. See, why don't you give a little update about that rod and reel combo you got there? This rod and reel combo is probably like 20 years old. It's classic, but it's lucky. Why is it lucky? Just because it like catches way more fish than my new rod. It's so an who? old pen reel, and it's just it just won't die. Yeah. Old pen, like. Was that better bearings? I don't know. No, yeah. bearings are probably shot. It probably has no bearings, it's probably bushings. <laughs> <laughs> it was a terrible day of fishing. We caught basically nothing. So, I mean, this is like typical Hudson fishing? No, so we've had some days where it's epic. Where we're hooking up one after another. You throw your, your line in the water, and two seconds later, you're on a fish again. And we've had other days where Sam and I have been here for 12 hours and have never even set the hook. It's hit or miss. I don't know, it's fishing, not catching. It's not always like, this is sick! <laughs> Most of the time it's this. Are we ever going to catch a fish? <laughs> so what if people are like, yo, where's the content? What, what, what do you say to them? Have you ever been fishing?